Aber ich möchte mir jetzt erstmal noch das hier angucken. Paul hat mir ein Video gegeben, was ich mir angucken soll. Und das sieht ziemlich insane aus. This is the okay. Yep, this is insane. Okay, Chat. Äh. Ja, yeah, ich glaube, das ist. Äh, mm -hmm. Okay. Ich lasse mich überraschen. The fuck? Sabro V100. And it's the most impressive home racing simulator I have ever seen. And we're going to have a look at what makes this thing so ridiculous. And then we're going to go for a drive. Now, as you can see, it looks pretty realistic. So much so, I feel like you could put an engine in it and drive away. It's handcrafted in fiberglass and it has such amazing presence. This has actually got real Pirelli tires on. I mean, if you're going to go to this effort to be authentic. Chat, wir müssen das Büro wechseln. Okay, das wird das Ziel nach, nach 2023. Bis Ende des Jahres äh, muss ich so viel Sellout betreiben, dass wir das hier, dass wir uns eine Lagerhalle kaufen können und so ein Ding da reinstellen. <lacht> da You gotta match the realism. There's even a F1 star halo, so you can actually have the full experience because what's an F1 car about the obscurity of a halo and also you can never be too safe. The Saro Sims are highly customizable and let you use what you want in these, but in this case, this is using a Simicube 2 Pro as the wheelbase of choice. In terms of the wheel itself, you've got a item from Precision Sim Engineering, which is an F1 star wheel. In terms of the sound, we've got a really powerful 2.1 surround system in the belly of the beast, making it feel more like you're actually in an F1 car. And it does sound pretty darn impressive. The pedals are Husingveld pedals, and the cool thing about this thing is that you actually have a motorized pedal unit that pushes the pedals further away or closer to you. Excuse me, officer, das möchte ich auch haben. Das brauche ich auch. Wie geil ist das denn? You can highly adjust it to what you want. Now, as you notice, this thing moves around quite a lot. It's using a D-Box motion system, which gives you some haptic feedback, meaning that you actually feel the vibration in the car, as well as the movement, giving you an idea of what is going on. In terms of the visuals, you've got three 75-inch Samsung TVs, all at 4K, all very high quality, to give you that field of view that you desire. You know, I think this thing looks absolutely wonderful, but Vasara told me it's not even finished yet. It's missing a livery, which they'll be putting on very shortly. And if you buy one of these, you get to put whatever you want on there. The question you'll probably... If you buy one of these... Yeah. Nee, vielleicht, weiß nicht. Wie teuer ist es denn? What you're wondering is, how much does this thing cost? Yeah. Well, about a hundred thousand pounds. Manchmal wünsche ich mir wirklich, ich wäre so ein, so ein Unge oder so, ne? wo ich sage, ich habe äh, hab genug Spielgeld. <lacht> da muss ich husten, währenddessen ich das sage, genug Spielgeld, um zu sagen, ach komm, schick mal rüber den, den Flummi. I asked Vasara if they could do mates rates with me and they said no. But they did say I could drive it. And given that this is no simple simulator, we must dress for the occasion. Now we're dressed right, it's time to get into the car and go for a drive. Gonna try and do this without causing any damage to this very fine machine. Oh, wow. Now the halo's on, I'm in here, it's quite cozy. The halo really doesn't actually get in your view. As you know, you've got two eyes and you get a slightly different image from each and you essentially cancel out what's directly in front of your face, giving you safety but not taking away much of your visibility. And with my standard of driving, I'm probably gonna need that halo. To test this thing out, we're gonna do a couple of laps at Imola, one of my favorite tracks in one of my favorite cars, the Ferrari F2004 in Assetto Corsa. Let's go. Okay, we've got the lights going red and we're about to go off. Alter Verwalter, das ist der aber du. Und jetzt mit einem T248. <lacht> For our first experience of this ridiculous simulator. And there we go, the nose lifts up to tell us that we are... Oh. <lacht> okay, I got too excited, let's try that again. And we are off and we are away. And the first thing you notice about this is the way the motion reacts to what you're doing. So you can feel the back just tip up there as we're going down here. As we hit the first braking point in Imola, try not to lock up the brakes. Alter, das stelle ich mir richtig, richtig geil vor. Go over the curbs there. Oh, wow. This is absolutely unbelievable. And it just feels like more authentic because of the way you're actually in the chassis there. But we are struggling to get around the corner because of the overload from the stimuli. And it 
does feel quite realistic. Oh. <laughs> Yeet! Wouldn't be a me video about crashing. The visuals I'm actually impressed by, because when you look at this thing from afar, it might make you think that the actual FOV is all wrong. Because, you know, I'm using the hood camera on here, not a camera on the inside. But when you actually sat here, it actually feels very realistic. Like... Alter, 100.000 Pfund, Junge. Ich mein, wisst ihr, Leute, die viel Geld haben, können viel Spaß haben. When you've done a lap or two, you can hit your marks pretty well. You can actually see just there in front of me what it actually looks like. I imagine this actually feels more realistic because I'm in a race suit and I'm getting very, very hot. As a warning to you, don't sim race in a race suit unless you really want to simulate the racing feel. The Simic 2 Pro, as we know, is an awesome wheel that many people use and swear by, myself included. In this, you know, it's a no-brainer. This feels like a real F1 car. What? Well, I've never driven a real F1 car. But how I imagine it would feel. The sound is incredible. It's coming from behind my head. It makes it feel like you're actually in a car that has a powerful engine. And um, that with... <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> just struggling to talk because this is just so fun. And fun was the main feeling I had with this as a massive F1 fan. It's amazing to be actually sat in a cockpit that feels like the real car and experiencing things as you would on the track. Now, obviously this is out of reach for pretty much most people because- Mm, mm yeah, do. There's a hundred- We gehen alle wieder zurück zu unserem uh, T248 von Thrustmaster. Mm. Thousand pounds is not a small amount of money. But if you like F1 and if you've got the cash, then by all means, I think you should actually splash out on this theme because not only will you have an F1 car in your house, you'd also have massive bragging Thank rights. Thank you to Vasaro for letting me come around and try this thing out. I had buckets of fun. If you wanted to get one of these, look down on the website in the description below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, so the Lagerhalle, dude. Da, da wäre ich, ja, wär ich ja dabei. Oh, was? Mosa? Das neue, uh, okay. Das hat er schon getestet. Oh. Da hinten stehen noch mal zwei Rigs. Nee, da stehen sogar noch mehr. Also ja, da stehen noch zwei Rigs. Da steht auch noch einer. Hier steht auch noch was drauf. Also das ist wahrscheinlich die Fertigung, nehme ich mal an. Das ist schon geil. Aber 100.000 Euro. Also ich meine, ich habe auf der Sim Racing Expo bei Vesaro auch drin gesessen im, im Rig. Und das war auch schon wild. Call of Dizzy Incoming. Nee, so viel Geld verdiene ich nicht, Leute. Da hätte ich wahrscheinlich meine ganzen, äh, meine ganzen Sachen, die ich über die letzten Jahre verdient habe, wo ich äh, jung, naiv und dumm war, hätte ich die alle behalten und wäre clever gewesen, äh, hätten wir das wahrscheinlich machen können, ja. Und wenn ich nicht mehr so ein Depp wäre und übel durchtilten würde, wenn irgendwas mit der Technik nicht funktionieren würde, um meine neuen Zuschauer zu vergraulen, währenddessen ich super maximal durchgetiltet bin, dann wären wir wahrscheinlich auch schon wieder woanders. Hin.